Hey everybody, John Gucci Foley here today, and I want to talk about call signs. So mine is Gucci, uh, but how do you get a call sign? How does a fighter pilot get a call sign? Well, let me give you a couple of clues. First off, you don't get the picket, and usually you don't like it. That's why it sticks. So my call sign, you know, one day I showed up uh, wearing a thin black leather tie. Everyone else was in jeans and t-shirts, and they looked at me, they go, what is that? That's Gucci. Well, no fighter pilot wants to be called Gucci. You want to be Hitman, Viper, Iceman, something cool. But do something stupid, your teammates will remind you. Now, sometimes call signs are linked to other attributes. I'll give you an example. So when I was lead solo, my opposing solo was Thumper. And uh, we call, Ken Switzer was his name, and we called him Thumper. And you think, well, why, why do you get the call sign Thumper? Well, you know, it depended on who we're talking to. He'd say, oh, I snuck up under an airplane, and I pulled straight up and thump the airplane. You go, okay, well that sounds pretty cool. No, here's the reason he's called Thumper. He had big ears. So you see, it's not always what you think about. Uh, another example, when I was the posing solo, my lead solo was Matt Seaman. So what do you think we call them? Spurt. Okay, so you can get all kinds of different names. Uh, I think one that kind of sticks with me is uh, my, my very good mentor, Admiral Wizard McCabe, uh, talks about how he got his call sign. Now you think, wizard, that's a pretty cool call, call sign. Actually, it's wizard with two Zs. But um, here's what he did. He's one of the few people I've ever known in the military, in the, in, the, in the Navy fighter pilot world that's been able to change his call sign. Because when he was uh, in Vietnam, he was the most junior person in his squadron. He'd be running on the flight deck out there, and uh, he was jumping over uh, all kinds of weapons and stuff. And so they ended up calling him Bambi. Well. Bambi, you don't want Bambi. So he gets back early, is one of the first instructors in the F-14 squadron, and uh, was able to uh, make magic one night as the duty officer. And they uh, were able to fly extra sorties because of him, and so they called him Wizard. Now, uh, we all know, it's now live. Wizard, you're Bambi, always will be. Glad to be here. Uh, call signs are very powerful. Uh, you know, you can, uh, you can, uh, name people, uh, you actually get so comfortable with the call signs that you forget someone's first name sometimes. And uh, it's also important because it builds camaraderie, it builds trust, uh, it, it helps in uh, not only combat, but really in every aspect. So out there in companies, people ask me all the time, hey, we got to start giving call signs to people. So the companies I work with, usually people get call signs. All right, hope you enjoyed this. Gucci, out. Glad to be here.